We've opened our image of Vegemite in Photoshop. Um, it's a bit small, so we go View, Zoom In, Control Plus, and hit Control Plus again to get a reasonable size. Down here in the Layers palette, you can see that you've got one layer. You should duplicate that layer. OK, just in case you don't do a good job with what you're doing. Image Adjust, Threshold, and then find the spot where the Vegemite jar looks best and it's roughly here for the top and here for the lower half so you never get it absolutely right for both the top half and the bottom half so what you have to do is just get it right for the bottom half and click OK now you can go and duplicate the layer again OK and you've got another layer again below the one that you just did. Turn the top layer off for the moment. Turn the second layer on. Go Image, Adjust, Threshold again. And this time get it right for the top half. There. OK. So you've got one that is right for the top half for the lid and another one that's right for the bottom half. So what you need to do is put the best parts of both images beside each other. Turn your top layer on, go down to the bottom here and see where this little icon is. You create a little mask, so it's a little square with a circle inside it and it puts a mask beside this one. Now this is the one that's got the bottom half right but the top wrong. Now if we cut a hole in this mask, it's, imagine this is like a little opaque window that could allow us to look through to the bottom layer. So we pick up a brush that is black and just colour it in and you can see where we put the hole in that window, the layer underneath shows through. Now that's what it looks like on the mask and that's where the hole is. Now if we switch it off you see the whole layer underneath but we've just made a little hole in that window that was opaque to show the layer underneath and by doing that we now have the best of both layers so now we've finished that we go control or we can merge them down so merge down so the layer on top that's highlighted will join with the layer below so we merge down and now we have the layer underneath we can get a paintbrush and make sure this is white now and make sure your paintbrush is not too big and just colour in with white any of the areas that are untidy you can make the edge of your brush sharp so that it doesn't have a fuzzy edge and you can tidy up everything you want on that layer and now your image is fine so you can flatten it oops just flat an image and file save as now make sure it's saved as a JPEG that word there if it's got something else like Photoshop PSD make sure you change it to JPEG and save it on the desktop in a folder that you call pop art images Using a comic image, another one you can do is select a section of a more complicated comic. So you use your marquee tool and you drag the crosshair across the image that you want to select. And once you've got marching ants all the way around that image, you go copy. So control C or you can do file, edit, copy. So go File, now go File, New, OK, and go Edit, Paste. And what has happened is you've got your section of image copied on a layer down here and there is a white layer underneath. You need to have that white layer for the task that we're going to do. 
if you've taken a new image that doesn't have a white layer, you need to create a white layer underneath that. Here we have the image without a layer underneath it. So what you do is you go layer, new layer, or shift control N and click OK. Now to get it underneath, you drag the layer below it up so that it touches the top and it will uh, um, move to the top and the layer below. Now the layer below is transparent. So to get that, like, click on it to make sure it's highlighted. Go over to your bucket tool. Make sure the color that is on the top here is white. OK. And then just, even though you can't see it, so you just fill it. And now when you turn your layer off, you can see that the layer below it is white. Enlarge it, zoom in, and we're going to highlight each color because everything's outlined in black. So you use your magic wand tool and you start selecting all the blue areas. Now, if you hold your shift key, you can select more blue areas and just click in those areas that are blue. And then when you click delete, all of those areas are cut out from the image. So if you look down here, you can see if we turn the other two off that this is now transparent in that area and the white is showing it through. If you select the yellow, make sure that your tolerance up here is about 33 and select more. Instead of selecting everything, you can go select and go similar and everything that is already selected and that is the same color throughout the rest of the image will be selected in one go. Go delete and now that has been deleted. We can do the same for the red. Go select similar. All of the red is selected, probably too much because the, it's selecting the black. So we can go control D to deselect. Make it 21 instead, I'm guessing. And that's not as aggressive. So the black is not being selected as much. Now select similar. and delete, which is what we wanted. Image, adjust, threshold, and just choose what you want as your final image and click OK. Now to flatten the image, you go merge down or flatten image and file, save, Make sure you save it on the desktop in your pop art images file with your name on it.